As we know, even in the previous chapter, Oda Sensei has started to reveal various secrets about what really happened in the past. This begins with the revelation of the fact that Egghead Island is an island of the past. This fact is certainly surprising, because it makes us think how life really was in the past. And in this chapter, Yichiro Oda finally reveals the real facts about what happened in the Ohara incident 22 years ago. As you know, the Ohara incident is one of the most terrible and sad incidents in the One Piece series. Almost everyone died in the incident, except for Nico Robin. Then what happened in chapter 1066? But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. One Piece Chapter 1066 is titled The Will of Ohara. In this Chapter 1066, Vegapunk reveals a fact to Nico Robin and the Straw Hat crew that in the Void Century there was an ancient kingdom where the kingdom had a modern civilization. This is based on the findings of one of the robots or machines whose year of manufacture is the same as the era of the Void Century. Maybe the robot or machine that Vegapunk was referring to was the ancient robot that Luffy found in a junkyard. Besides that, Vegapunk also tells about everything he knows about the Void Century, starting from the war between the Ancient Kingdom against 20 kingdoms, until the eradication of history related to the Void Century by the world government. And if there are still people who talk about the Void Century, then he will be eliminated even if that person is from the world government. It seems like the world government wants to completely erase the history of the Void Century. Long before the incident that occurred in Ohara, Vegapunk was already acquainted with Professor Clover. Professor Clover is known worldwide as the most famous archaeologist. Obsessed with the Void Century, he travels the world to collect all the literature that exists. Even Professor Clover has been arrested and punished by the Marines ten times. Maybe because of that he decided not to sail anymore, and chose to stay and settle in Ohara. There he studied all the literature he had collected during his sailing. After he learned the truth about the Void Century, Professor Clover told the truth to all the scientists in Ohara. Knowing this, the world government sent the Navy and Cypher Pole to kill Professor Clover and destroy the island of Ohara so that the truth about the Void Century is not known to the world. And the only survivor is Nico Robin. One month after the Ohara incident, Vega Punk, who at that time was still doing research on Punk Hazard, decided to go to Ohara with the intention of giving his last flower to Professor Clover. Arriving there, he was surprised by a lake in which it turned out that there were many books belonging to the Ohara scientists. The books were thrown into the lake in order not to be burned by the Buster Call attack. Perhaps the Ohara scientists hoped that one day, when the book is found by the right people, the truth about world history will be revealed. Sure enough, their Vega Punk saw several giants evacuating the books, and it turned out that they were from Elbaf. Their goal there is to save the books and keep them on the island where they live. Apart from Vega Punk and the giants, Dragon was also there. And what's interesting is that Dragon and Vega Punk already know each other. Dragon said that he also knew Professor Clover. Dragon knew him when he traveled the world. Besides being known as a famous archaeologist, Professor Clover is also known as someone who is trying to destroy the world. Seeing what happened on the island of Ohara made Dragon want to continue the determination of Professor Clover and all Ohara scientists. From here the revolutionary army was created with the aim of overthrowing the world government and changing the world for the better. Vegapunk's fascination with Ohara literature makes him secretly go to visit Elbaf Island. He wonders why the world's governments destroyed Ohara and why Ohara scientists were willing to sacrifice their lives to protect the books. After he read all the contents of the document, he finally found out all about Ohara and all the secrets of the world. In this chapter, we finally know that Jaguar D. Saul is still alive. Previously I made the theory that someone with bandages all over the body was Jaguar D. Saul. And yes, it turns out that he is still alive and he is the one who keeps the documents. Why is he still alive? I have explained everything in the previous video. At the end of the chapter, when Luffy was at the junkyard, he met the real Vegapunk. At that time Vegapunk was researching an ancient robot. And it turns out that Vegapunk already knows that he will meet Luffy. So in conclusion in this chapter, we know the facts that happened after the Ohara incident. In addition, we also know that Monkey D. Dragon, Vegapunk, and Professor Clover know each other. His interest in the Void Century made Professor Clover known to the world. Not only that, we also finally know the fate of Jaguar D. Saul after the Ohara incident. What do you think about this chapter? 